Hey, it's Suffering Student here, and today I'm going to showcase and go through a few shortcuts I use all the time regarding IntelliJ with Java. So, first of all, here is the list, and let's go through them. So, firstly, we have Shift Shift, which is a useful shortcut which opens a search menu where you can search on everything regarding IntelliJ. So, that's just whenever you need some kind of uh, settings or whatever. Just shift shift. And most people, me included, have probably experienced actually having this pop up by mistake because it's pretty easily you end up hitting shift two times and it can be kind of quite confusing at first to actually what's going on, but that's a shift shift shortcut. Then we have probably one of the most used one, which is Alt Enter, which just simply clicks on something and showcase whatever's going wrong and I've caught myself quite a few times already actually trying to use this in other areas like Word for example but it doesn't exist. So let's say I am spelling something or whatever, everything that's underlined. I can go Alt Enter to see what's going on regarding this area. Let's just say I want to print something. I'm just going hello world then, for example, and just remember every underline it tells us something's wrong. You can go Alt Enter, and in this case, because this is a typo, I would be able to fix it. So it more or less does the same as right clicking and show context action. So the shortcut Alt Enter quite useful, and you could use it in very many different situations. Then we have Alt Insert which is probably my favorite, more or less, because we can do so much different stuff with Alt Enter. Let's say we wanted to make a new class. I'm just going to call it User. And we're going to follow in the OP paradigm, where we have some attributes. Let's create a private string name and a private int h. And as you would know, we would use to need to create a constructor. And here I would use this shortcut, Alt Insert, where I get this generate menu, where I can, for example, create a constructor. And I can choose what I'm going to use for my constructor. Let's say you want a constructor where both would have a name and an integer. So just hold down Shift and take both of them. Click OK. And here we have a constructor using name age and using this dot very fast and I can as well get getters of both of them pretty fast and I can get setters for them pretty fast and I can let's just for example create a two string method pretty fast so very very fast I am able to create a class containing attributes a constructor getters setters to string methods, and as you might have seen, there's quite a few other things, but that's what I mostly use it for. Create getter set at once, to string override methods, creating tests even. So it's very versatile, but it's just a shortcut to get into this generate method, which is very, very useful. And can actually cut off some time if you have to create like a billion getters or setters and so on. It's just so much easier and so much faster to do it this way. Then we have the two last shortcuts, which are like written shortcuts. So we have our main method. Let's say I don't have a public state void main yet, but what I can do very, very fast is just simply PSVM, then either tap or enter to automatically create, create the public static void main. Let's say for example inside this user, I very fastly one down here wants to create some tests. Just want to test if it works, so just click create a public static void main. Then fast, create the user, whatever, but PSVM, public static void main, shift enter to create. And then probably fighting for my fa most favorite shortcut against the old insert is SOUT, which is super useful. I probably use this every single time I code. At least when I'm writing something to the terminal, just writing or testing stuff fast, I can go SOUT. Again, tap or enter 
to get a system out print line and then it can very fast print anything I want. Then the last one is not, it is a shortcut, but instead of just clicking run, you can click shift F10. So let's say I'm not clicking it, I'm just clicking shift F10 to run my program. But there's so many different ways to run your program actually. Run a specific method, run the last run method, or run a method through a specific class. But that was my shortcuts I use all the time. Shift, shift, alt, enter, alt, insert, PSVM, and SOUT. So if you enjoyed this walkthrough and hopefully you learned some new shortcuts, please leave a like and subscribe, and I wish you all a wonderful day.